played some odd roles in history, like during World War I when they helped British farmers plow fields, or in 1884 when 21 of P.T. Barnum's pachyderms proved to New York City that the Brooklyn Bridge was architecturally sound. But nothing is quite as unbelievable as their role as tanks on ancient battlefields. Elephants were a valuable tactic, and yet still a living member of the army who could be easily wounded. Just like their fellow warriors, these elephants had armor. Ripley's owns two sets of elephant armor, which rank as some of her most expensive purchases. Both were acquired from Stratford Armories in 2011, but only one has ever been displayed. Today, we're gonna get a first look. This set of elephant armor originated in India and would fit an elephant standing 12 feet tall. Up top is what's called a howdah, the part where the soldier would sit, perching him 19 feet above the ground. The armor was intended to protect almost every part of the elephant, including the trunk and the ears. P.S. This guy is made of fiberglass, he's not taxidermied. The world's largest land animals were used in many battles, including against Alexander the Great's forces, by Hannibal's Carthaginian army, and by the sultans of India. I mean, imagine a six-ton, man-crushing, tusk-terrorizing animal charging towards you. Even without flinching, their sheer size had some serious psychological impact on opposing forces. Awesome, yes. Thank you so much, Efren. This is awesome. I can't wait to start unboxing this elephant armor that no one's ever seen before. So cool. This set of armor is gonna be more of a composite design, a little bit different than this guy back here. So let's go check out the difference. armor is comprised of textiles mounted onto an iron and mesh frame, and it's covered in shaped steel plates. Additionally, the elephant's ears would be backed by an animal hide shield, which would add some extra protection. With that iron, that steel, it gives it a lot of weight. You can see the fabric backing, which is a lot different than this guy. It is also different because it has these embellishments, and you can see on the tail this nice fringe and they would be displayed on these items that are also in the palette. These tusks aren't actually ivory, they're wooden, and the ears that this would be displayed on are also fabric over a frame. Believe it or not, only humans and elephants have true chins. Elephants are either right or left-handed, preferring to use one of their tusks almost exclusively. They've been known to bury their dead and even return to visit those grave sites and finally, they can produce over 300 pounds of dung a day. And one of the world's most expensive brews, black ivory coffee, is made from the beans eaten and pooped by Thai elephants. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget that you can submit your buy-ons online at ripleys.com. We're always searching for some amazing artifacts and looking for the next unbelievable story. Till next week, let us know what you want to see next in the comments below and give us a quick thumbs up if you liked this week's video. See you guys later.